Hello everyone, this video has been brought to you by Unacademy. If you want us to make videos on some specific topics, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. My name is Mohit Gupta and in this video I will be talking about the midpoint circle drawing algorithm. So let us start. Circle drawing can be a complicated task for a computer because it is not nothing like drawing a point from point A to point B where you can just select pixels along a straight line but you have to select pixels along a curve but the pixels are on a straight line grid so the process of selection of pixels is very complicated here you see a circle and for example let me draw the axis x and y and we will divide this circle into 8 octants 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. The common equation of a circle is x square plus y square equals to r square. This circle is centered at origin and has a radius r. We will be dealing with the circle centered at origin only and if we require to draw a circle that is not centered at origin, we will use the translation operations that we will dis be discussing later on. So this is the equation that we will be dealing with. Let us calculate what is y. y will be plus minus square root of r square minus x square. What is the interesting thing about a circle is it has 8 fold symmetry. 8 fold symmetry how all the points here can be reflected here all the points here can be reflected here and all the points here can be easily reflected here and similarly all the points here can be reflected here and this way the circle has a 8 fold symmetry now let us define a function f of x y that is equals to x square plus y square minus r square equals to 0 for all the points on the circle with center origin and radius r. Now how do we use the midpoint theorem in the circle drawing algorithm? So let us see. We have the function f of xy as x square plus y square minus r square equals to 0. Here we have the pictorial representation of what drawing a circle on in the pixel space will look like this is the initial point p xp comma yp this point southeast of the initial point will be xp plus 1 comma yp minus 1 this point will be xp plus 1 comma yp and the midpoint would be xp plus 1 comma yp minus half okay so we will have to decide between this point and this point at every junction we will have to select between the east point or the southeast point of the current pixel based on the m the midpoint so if this function f x comma y evaluates to 0 for any point this implies that point is outside the circle if this function evaluates to less than 0 that means 
the point is inside the circle so we will calculate f of m and name it as d the decision variable that will be equals to f of xp plus 1 comma yp minus half on putting the values of x and y into the equation we get xp plus 1 whole square plus yp minus half whole square minus r square so we have got this equation right here now we will establish some rules based on the logic of checking whether the point is outside or inside the circle d is functions value at m so if d evaluates to greater than equals to 0 this implies the circle is passing below m and towards the southeast point then we will compute compute the southeast point and plot it if d is less than 0 this implies the point is inside the circle and we will compute the east point and plot it so for all the cases where the southeast point is selected we will have the new midpoint m new will be equals to x is equals to x plus 1 and y is equals to y minus 1 in all the cases where the east point is selected the new midpoint would be m new x is equals to x plus 1 and y will remain the same these x and y are the new coordinates and these x and y are the old coordinates so so far this is clear to us that how we will approach now let us see what would be the value of change in the decision variable if a southeast point is selected that will be equals to the new decision parameter minus the old that is f of xp plus 2 comma yp minus 3 by 2 minus f of xp plus 1 comma yp minus half this will evaluate to 2 times of xp minus 2 times of yp plus 5 similarly what will be the change when an east point is selected that is d new minus d old that will be f of xp plus 2 comma yp minus half minus f of xp plus 1 comma yp minus half this will evaluate to two times xp plus 3 so these two expressions are important okay so now now we will see how to calculate the starting value of the decision parameter starting value would be f of m and that is f of x not plus 1 comma y not minus half is equals to 
एफ ऑफ वन कॉमा आर माइनस हाफ रिमेंबर दैट वी आर डीलिंग विद द सेकेंड ऑक्टेंट दैट इज दिस वन एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एक्स नॉट इज इक्व टू जीरो एंड वाई नॉट इज इक्व टू आर सो वी गेट वन कॉमा आर माइनस हाफ ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग दिस फंक्शन वी विल गेट फाइव बाय फोर माइनस आर नाउ सिंस वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू अवॉइड द फ्रैक्शंस टू लोअर द कॉम्पिटिशन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर सो टू अवॉइड फ्रैक्शंस वी विल डू अ न्यू कॉन्स्टेंट एच एज डी स्टार्ट माइनस वन बाय फोर दिस विल गेट टू एच ऑफ स्टार्ट इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस आर सिंस एच इज इनिशियलाइज एंड इंक्रीमेंटेड ऑलवेज इन इंटीजर्स देर फोर इंस्टेड ऑफ एच शुड बी लेस देन वन माइनस फोर कंडीशन वी कैन राइट सिंपली एज एच शुड बी लेस देन जीरो सो फॉर द सेकेंड ऑक्टेट वी हैव द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एल्गोरिदम एज इनिशियली एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो वाई इक्वल्स टू आर एंड एच इज इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस आर टिल y is greater than x we will check if h is negative if h is negative we will select the east point and h will be h plus 2x plus 3 else we will select the southeast point and h will be h plus 2 times x minus y plus 5 and y will be equals to y minus 1 when we select the southeast point and the if statement now and we will always increment the x is equals to x plus 1 so this is the basic structure of the algorithm that uses the midpoint algorithm to plot the circle in the next video we will see an example of how to plot the circle using this algorithm you can subscribe to the channel youtube.com/anacademy More videos in the same series are the midpoint line drawing algorithm and an example explaining the midpoint line drawing algorithm. If you have any doubts or queries, you can ask me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at hi underscore mohit gupta, and you can also tweet to the Unacademy or you can simply leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you.